Hi, it's Roma and welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm gonna to make a hearty barbecue chili. You can make it as hot or as mild as you'd like. It's got really simple ingredients. I pick all of my ingredients up at Trader Joe's and then we dig in with some Trader Joe's corn chips, corn chips. <laughs> Here's an overview of everything that's going to go into my delicious barbecue chili. So first up is using the oil that I love to use. It's an avocado oil. I use avocado or olive. Both work great. Coat the bottom of the pan. And we're going to add the three pounds of meat. There's a pound of turkey, a pound of pork, and a pound of 80-20 mix beef, ground beef. I use a grass-fed beef and you're gonna just break it all up with your spoon and you're gonna mix it together. And it's important that you incorporate all three meats together. You could also, um, if you just wanted it all turkey or all pork or all beef, you can do that as well, that works. I just like the distinct flavors of the three. So I mix it up, I add my salt and pepper, and then I put the lid on it and I cook it on medium high for about five minutes after I've stirred it up. And then um, while I'm doing that, I prepare the other ingredients. But this is after the five minute mark. I've taken the lid off, I'm stirring it up again, and it's ready to go. So you're gonna remove it from the pan. I use a slotted spoon. You could even pour it into a colander. And then you are gonna set that aside because now you're going to cook all of the vegetables separately from the meat. So first up is zucchini. I'm gonna peel the zucchini and I'm gonna cube it into bite-sized pieces. You wanna make sure that you keep the pieces uniform so that they all cook evenly. You could also even use a butternut squash or some other type of squash in here. I've done it with butternut before and it's delicious, but zucchini is what I really prefer to use in this recipe. So get it all cut up into small pieces. You can see off to the left are my little containers of mirepoix. Mirepoix is celery, onion, and carrots, even amounts. So since I'm using three containers of that, if you can't find mirepoix at your market, sometimes it's hard to find, it's a, it's a hot ticket item. Uh, it's just equal parts of those three vegetables. Now I'm gonna add more oil to the pan. I'm gonna put in I keep saying pan, but it's actually a ginormous pot. Uh, I'm gonna put in the zucchini, and then I'm going to add the three containers of mirepoix. If you can't find the mirepoix, it's about two cups each of onions, carrots, and celery. So uh, just make sure if you're cutting it up yourself that those pieces are uniform as well. So they're all about the same size, that and the zucchini. You're gonna mix that really well and make sure you have enough oil on the bottom of your pot. As you can see, I just added more because you don't want the vegetables to burn. Put the lid on it, cook it for five minutes, medium high to high. Take the lid off, stir it, and put uh, the lid back on and stir it another five minutes. Now, uh, you wanna test it and make sure that they're not crunchy. You want them to be soft. And then now you can add your tomato paste you can add your spices, and you're gonna mix all of that together so it's incorporated. And then you're gonna add chopped uh, diced tomatoes. If I can find the uh, roasted smoked ones, those taste even better, but I couldn't find them that day. So mix all of that together. Go ahead and make sure you test it to make sure that um, you know they're, the veggies are soft and it's all incorporated. Then you stir back in your meat you're gonna add your meat and incorporate that very well. And then next up, you're going to add your beans. And make sure that you include the, the liquid in the beans, don't drain the beans. You're gonna need that liquid to add to the veggies and the beef. And I like those spicy black beans from Whole Foods. I happen to have a can of that in the cupboard. So I use two cans of black beans, one can of kidney beans, but you could do it the reverse, or you could add navy beans, but it's always three cans of beans. And now you can see there's a beautiful, thicky, thick, chunky texture to it. Now you're gonna add your favorite barbecue sauce. You're gonna stir that all together so it's incorporated. Sweet Baby Ray's is my favorite. 
and mix that all up and I let that cook for about five to ten minutes on low and you are ready to eat so yummy all right so now we're going to put the corn chips in the bottom of the bowl if you don't like to eat them that way that's okay you can just scoop it up with corn chips but I like to put corn chips in the bottom scoop it on top and then you add whatever toppings you like I like to add cheese onions I love red onions sour cream and green onions okay it's time to eat the chili my favorite time so uh, I've got all these delicious layers in here um, and I've got some cheese on top so let's dig in mmm so good hearty delicious spicy mmm it is so good I hope you make this recipe I hope you love it and let me know what you think about it I'd really like to hear I gotta go because I want to eat this bowl of chili while it's hot. Thanks for joining in. To get my barbecue chili recipe, click the link below.